the female pin uh, into this hole here. And we're going to just give that the best gosh darn clamp down we can without breaking the plastic housing. We are going to take our Arduino Mega and we're going to slide it into its position. Before we do that though, obviously, what we want to talk about, what I want to talk about is the fact that I don't have the slide potentiometer in place yet. I will have, in the, in the original version, what you're going to do is seat this inside the slot right here, like so. You're going to take your ground wire and you're going to solder it here. You're going to take your hot wire and you're going to solder it here. Okay? Now, the reason I can't show it is because I didn't order these in time. I thought I did. I'm very sorry. It'll work the same in the demonstration that I'll show at the end of this, that all the coding works. Okay. So in the meantime, let us begin. All right. Make sure all your wires are nice and tucked to the side like this. And we're just going to take our Mega and just go ahead and gently insert it inside of the box here. So that it's all nice and flush and fit in there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take our M3 screws. I'm going to take a, a slightly longer one. I'm going to say six mil, give or take. Okay. Now that you have your screws in place, you're going to notice it's going to look a lot like this. That's intentional. All right. So you have access to everything, which is very pleasant. And I will go over what each wire does. From the joystick, we're going to take our blue wire. And the blue wire is going to go to A0 on here. We're going to take our yellow wire from the joystick. And that's going to go to A1. So your green wire we're going to ignore for now because the green wire is technically able to be your roll. But I don't really think that's very good because if you're doing like a directional thing or something complicated and you accidentally start to roll it, that could really suck. So that's why I have it kind of dedicated on the smaller joystick. If you want to change that, you just have to switch the orange cable on the smaller joystick with the green cable. Totally customizable. They, they, should, they should work the same. If not, then there's just a slight um, discrepancy in values between the two. So what we're going to do is we're going to just ignore the green cable again. We're going to take the red cable and that's going to go into a dedicated 5 volt line. All right? Make sure you do that. So the dedicated 5 volt line that we're going to be using today is right here on the very edge. Like that. That's kind of the main 5 volt. And we're going to also use the ground pin next to it. All right, very nice. So now you'll see that we have our primary joystick all wired up. We're going to go ahead and measure each one of these so that we can determine how long to make the wire and the corresponding mini pin. Hi everybody. Pasty McPasty face is back. Let's do this. So right now I have these four wires wired and we're gonna go ahead and finish up wiring the rest of them. So. If you look at the wire diagram, you're going to go ahead and see that each four of these buttons is wired into a digital pin. Uh, the orange one right here is going to digital pin six, and that's the record button, if anyone questions. Uh, the next one after that is yellow, and that is going to go into digital pin two. The next one after that is blue, and blue goes into digital pin four. The next one after that is green, and green goes into digital pin 3. Alright, you successfully have all your wires, uh, or all your buttons wired up. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and wire the center potentiometer, which is the iris. And that goes into pin A8. So we're going to go ahead and wire our mini joystick. And the first pin that we're going to take is this yellow one, which is the button pin. And that goes into pin A8. Uh, analog, and by analog I mean digital, so we're just going to go into pin 8. Just kind of creep on in there, little guy. There you go. Uh, our next pin is the green pin, which is our VR1 
y, so in other words, our y-axis, and that's going to go into A15, which is all the way down over here. And the reason why I chose A15 is because I'm a loser, and I had to think of a pin. <laughs> our next pin is the orange pin, which is our BRX pin, in other words, our x-axis, and that goes into A11. All right, very cool. So that's pretty much all of the, the main board pins done, minus, of course, our uh, missing in action potentiometer, which is right here. And we're just gonna wire this in because we might as well, and uh, you know, you're gonna need to do it eventually anyway. So our red pin is gonna go right into this slot right there, our five volt, our dedicated five volt area. Our ground is going to go into a dedicated ground port. There's one right here. And our blue wire is going to go into A7, which is all the way up here. And for now, we're just going to have this loosely hanging out the back because, again, I'm waiting on the parts. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to take our red wire that has a pin and our black wire that has a pin, and we're going to plug in our ground to the top here right there. Those are universal ground buses. And we're going to plug our red into our voltage in, which is marked on the board and in the wire diagram. So now all that's left is our green and yellow pins. And if we remember correctly, um, we, we have a diagram of that in the Google Doc, which says yellow is our TX1 which goes all the way over here. And it's okay to have these wires overlap. Uh, it actually helps seal them in a little better. So we're gonna go ahead and insert that into our TX1 pin right there. And our green, which is our RX1, which is right below the yellow pin. And that should be it. Um, for just wiring this whole thing up, you're going to notice that we have these two wires hanging loose. But again, that is saved for our top plate, which since this is this particular person ordered a uh, V-mount plate, what we're going to go ahead and do to get this whole thing rolling is we're going to plug our black cable into the voltage out minus on our V-mount plate. That would be kind of hard to see. I apologize and our plus into the voltage out pin. And that's just about it. You've pretty much completed this bad boy. And we're just gonna go ahead and slide it into place. So you know, I can get it over there. Cool. So that is uh, basically all the wiring complete, minus, of course, the slide potentiometer for the mini Mobi joystick. So, in the next video, I'm going to go over how to put the software in, and I'm going to demonstrate it uh, working one more time. And uh, if you have any problems or questions, please give me an email, and I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks a lot.